Hey, Libo, Ben Johnson here with some new updates on Google Meets. First thing I want to mention is if you have students that are being disruptive in your class, please get that to the dean's ASAP so that they can take care of it, nip it in the bud. If after that the deans can't resolve it, IT can disable those Google accounts, and they are a privilege. So um, let students that are disruptive know that. And I know it's been uh, not a, a widespread problem, but we have had some incidents of it already yesterday. So that's the first thing. Second thing is students it looks like can get into your class before you even though they're not supposed to be able to through Google Classroom. So I don't know if that's a Google glitch or if IT doesn't have a button checked. I'm working to research that. Here's how you can prevent it in the meantime. In your Google Classroom you want to go to the cog and scroll down and where it says Google Meet. If it's visible to student uncheck that and then as the teacher you can reset that. And then as the teacher, you can click on that, copy it, and then you can go and enter, enter that room before the students even know what it is. Okay, so I would just do that five minutes <clears throat> before class starts. Okay, once that happens, then you can um, go ahead and turn it on for students and save that. And now students will be able to go into that room but since you're already there, you'll be able to have access to that record button. And then also, if students are disruptive, you'll have the ability to um, mute those students, whereas you, you wouldn't have um, before. So let, let's um, show you what that muting might look like. So to, to mute students, you can uh, come up here to this, this space at the top, click on the people, and you can see that I have Stella and I muted for the purpose of this demo. But if you had a student that was being disruptive, you could go ahead and mute their microphone here, or you can actually click on their picture on the screen and mute their microphone there as well. You can also remove them from the meeting, although um, they'd be able to come back in and they can turn their microphone back on, which is why you need to um, have the deans deal with that issue as soon as you can. Okay, so um, that was just how to turn off this meet link, go into that room, turn it back on, and that will give you the ability to record, mute, and um, remove students that way. Okay, second thing I want to update is on this, uh, the grid view. You need to be using the screen one. You can click on it and make sure that it's 1.39. If you're not using 1.39 or higher, it's probably not going to work. So what do you do in that case? You just click on the puzzle piece. You would go to the old grid view, and you would just click on the snowman here, and you would just remove that from Chrome. You can't have more than one version of grid view. You need to remove all the old ones, and you want to have 1.39. So what does 1.39 look like? You'll just Google um, Google Meet Grid View Fix. And it's this one right here that you want to install. That's that 1.39. So you would just go ahead and get that one installed. And again, just make sure it's 1.39 should be this green one. Get it installed. If you don't see it on your task, your toolbar up here, click on that puzzle piece and just click the thumbtack so that it's there because that will need to be there. If you're using the breakout rooms, you can do the same sort of search, meet, breakout rooms. The one that I've demoed before is this one with these green check marks. It's um, attendance and breakout rooms. Looks like this little hanger guy. I guess it's 1.5. Anyways, you'll need to add that also if you want to use the breakout rooms in that way. It doesn't actually need to be up here on the toolbar because it it actually works inside of grid view, sort of oddly. So it needs to be installed, but you don't need to necessarily have it pinned up here. You don't actually click on it to make it work. All right, so as a reminder, how does that, that work? Um, when you go in your room, once it's installed, if you'll need to click on it and uh, enable grid view. Okay, and then you can check any of these options that uh, you want to uh, check. If it's got a slash through it, it's not on. And then you'll just want to turn it on. 
now to make grid view work or that's how grid view works if you're if you're not seeing all your students you probably have an old version okay now to get the attendance and the breakout rooms you click on the little clothes hanger guy you hit refresh it will should show you all the kids in the room if you're using the right version of, of the um, grid but you do need to refresh it as kids come into the room so you may wait for five or ten minutes to uh, make these breakouts and to take your attendance. Anyways, you can copy this list and you can use this to take attendance if you want. And then eventually, if you want to use the breakout rooms, you're just going to go to um, Show Group Generator. You'll want to choose how many groups you want. So I'll do two groups in this case. You can generate those groups. And then you'll copy the group names. You'll go to the chat and you'll paste those groups group names into the chat and send them to the students and you'll tell the students next to your name you'll see the number that's the group that you're going to go into you have to close this which makes it a little confusing then you have to go back to copy the meet links okay and then you go back to the chat and then you paste paste these in and um, just tell the student to go to the breakout room that that um, they're participating in as a teacher, you can pop in and out of these um, breakout rooms. They're going to be difficult to record, so I probably just wouldn't worry about that. However, I would tell the students in those rooms that if they notice any um, misbehavior, abuse, that they need to report that to you so that you can get it to the deans, and then the deans can get it, get it resolved, hopefully, um, soon, so that it doesn't uh, turn into something worse. Okay? All right. Um, Let's see if I close this. So to to close this window, if it's stuck, I heard people report that. You can just click this chat, and that'll that'll close that. Okay. So um, we've had some reports of microphone problems. You're not you're not able to hear students. So what what we think that is is actually uh, Microsoft Teams is hijacking your speaker out, and so. What you need to do in that case is go ahead and hit Control Shift Escape. It's going to bring up your task manager. And what you need to do is kill um, Microsoft Teams. You can just right click on it and uh, pretend like this is Microsoft Teams. I could just right click on it in that task. And that seems to. So after you end the task, you have to go ahead and close your browser and open close all of your Chrome browsers and open a brand new one and then then you should be able to hear students so I would maybe even just kill teams right off the bat when you start up your computer that way when you open Chrome it shouldn't hijack your um, speaker out um, worst case scenario if you're not able to hear your students you can always turn on the closed captioning down here in most cases they've been able to hear you and so that's a good thing you can still call on them and that sort of thing you can use the chat and I've got my um, mic muted right now but if I um, unmute myself you'll see the closed captioning here should start should start generating um, anyways a lot, a lot of teachers used that closed captioning yesterday to go ahead and here basically read what their students were um, saying so anyways those are just a few updates thanks for watching okay here it just took a minute for the cc to start all right well good luck break a leg today lobos thanks